Well, midweek DSTV Premiership action is always so, so welcome, especially when it's an encounter like this one. Cape Town Spurs up against Mamelodi Sundowns, a matchup where we see two sides campaigning on different spectrums of the DSTV Premiership table, battling it out, different battles for them. But basically what it means is that both need maximum points. Good evening, football fans. Thank you for staying with us here on the home of the DSTV Premiership, the home of sport, the home of the beautiful game, and that is Super Sport. The name is Simply Carol, the first lady of sports, as always, with a fantastic team here in studio as we guide you through tonight's encounter. Front and center, we're looking at a team that is absolutely unstoppable this season, and it's a matter of time as to when they will be crowned DSTV Premiership champions, and that is Mamelodi Sundowns. But we're looking at which side is going to hold them back a little bit. Will it be this one? Cape Town Spurs, who, Deco, it seems for the longest time now, they have been fighting this battle to get out from the bottom of the table. There seemed to be a mini revival in March, mm. but that was short-lived. Yeah, it was short-lived indeed. Um, I mean, we saw how they started this, this, this year. Uh, they started a little bit better, but they've been struggling with that uh, um, relegation battle the whole season. Yeah. And, and, and if you look also from the stats, uh, stats point, uh, point of view is they, they, they're the most conceding team and the, with the worst defensive record and they're playing against a team that uh, hasn't lost the game uh, with the least goal being conceded. So I think the game tonight is, is more on the strikers versus defence. Yeah. And it, it's such a tough, tough battle for, for, for coach uh, Mudendorp in that side. Yeah, Dihang, you know, when you look at these two sides, there's no surprises as to where they are on the DSTV Premiership table because, like they rightfully said, Mamelodi Sundowns unbeaten this entire season. They are just absolutely on fire, no holding them back. So makes perfect sense why they are right there at the top with some stuffing in between them, 10 points between them and the second-place side, whereas Cape Town Spurs as well. The issues have been so well documented why they are there. Who is going to hold Mamelodi Sundowns back? Does Cape Town Spurs do it tonight? It, it's a big question. And <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I, was, I was having a conversation with Tugu earlier, you know, saying that I, I would like to put my money on them. I guess that's my prediction for yep. tonight, early. So with, with, with obviously fighting for different, you know, um, battles, battles mm. um, the one on top and at the bottom. But I think with, with cities. Uh, obviously, if we look at the games as yeah. well, you know, uh, that uh, they played 19, of course, for Sundowns, uh, 22. But more than anything, what's important for me is the points. Look at the points, 12 points yeah. for, 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 you know, Spurs and then 49, of course, that uh, for Sundowns. But for Krebs, the, tw the 24 points uh, that they, they still have to play, uh, still have to play for, but they need 18 points, that is uh, Spurs. To win, uh, to to survive relegation, of course. In other words, in six games out of eight that they have to win, you know, to survive relegation. So it's a, it's a, it's a tall task, uh, you know, uh, for them to accomplish. But it, it is it is achievable, I think. Yeah, so it's that time um, where they're starting to see how many matches they need to win in order to secure safety. 13 points from safety, seven matches to play for Cape Town Spurs. Yeah, seven matches, which for me, I think they do have a coach that um, has been in this position before, knows how. Um, as much as you, you can see there with the 12 points that they have uh, on the log, uh, they still have 24 points to play for. And I think with just on the trot, if they win three games on the trot, I think that's what they need. And I'm sure they're going to try and use this game tonight um, for Mamelodi Sundowns to get that momentum going, to get the confidence back, because this is a team that lacks confidence. Not yeah. that they, when they lose, they're not playing well. It's just that it's a team that lacks confidence and they, they will try and use that against Mamelodi Sundowns. Yeah, and then you look at uh, Mamelodi Sundowns and the countdown is on to when they can be uh, uh, confirmed as the DSTV Premiership champions. What, five matches to go? <laughs> yeah. Five victories. Yeah, Yeah. no, uh, I mean, you haven't lost a game. Uh, number one, you've considered only five, five goals. Not even double figures. The second team next to them is, has got double figures in terms of goals considered. So, mm. I mean, it, 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 it's difficult to see how they, 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 they shouldn't take this one. Um, I think, so for Sundowns, it's in their hands. It's in their hands. I mean, they've only lost to top eight teams. When you look at the teams that they've lost to Stellenbosch, you know, uh, Pirates, Chiefs, Supersport, it's all the good teams. There's Kukuni, the teams that are at the top. Now they're playing against the team at the bottom. Um, will, it, will it be the first time that they lose to a team in the top, in the bottom eight? You know, it's up to Cape Town Spurs, <laughs> of course. 
Yeah, never mind that they've only lost two teams. They haven't lost this season. <laughs> yeah, this season. <laughs> they haven't yeah. lost this season. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it takes a lot because, like you say, you know, winning becomes a habit, losing becomes a habit. It's very clear what kind of habit and what kind of mindset Mamelodi Sundowns have. It is, it is very clear, and, and they find themselves in a situation that they largely find themselves in in every season. Yeah. Uh, being, being in advanced stages of, of, of cup competitions as well and looking at the league. But also, they, they, they need to also remember what happened last season when. When it, in this time, when they're supposed to wrap up the league a little bit earlier, they started dropping points. Yeah. And I'm sure Cape Town City will remember, uh, Cape Town Special, they will remember those those moments as well. But as, uh, as well, I think from the lineup from Mounty Sanders will actually maybe tell us exactly what's the, the importance of today's game because also they want to wrap it up. They want to be able to, to find space and room to be able to focus on other things as well. Yeah, we'll definitely hear more about that uh, very shortly. But first, let's touch, uh, touch base with our team out in Cape Town at the venue because lots of concerns about the weather conditions, uh, especially from the past weekend. It's been quite do well documented, the strong winds, the, uh, the heavy rains as well. What is the situation tonight, Fiso? And uh, do things look good for this match, this big encounter to continue? Yeah, hello, Carol, and hello to the guys in the studio. Hello to everyone at home. Yeah, it's a lot better today with regards to the weather conditions. There was a lot of concern on Sunday that this match would be adversely affected because of those overhead conditions. It was pretty bad with regards to rain. And of course, here at the Athlone Stadium, a lot more of an open stadium as opposed to the DHL Stadium, which is a little bit more closed off with regards to how it's structured. So there was a lot of concern with regards to this uh, game. It is a bit of a chilly night, but it's definitely not as bad as it was on Sunday. So definitely a lot better for the players themselves. Uh, the pitch looks in good condition. And of course, you ask yourself a lot of questions with regards to the fan support tonight, because when I had a look at, uh, in, uh, in front of me, a majority, Mamalodi Sundowns fans, have flocked into the Athlon Stadium and they're hoping their team can get the job done. It is a massive effort, of course, for Cape Town Spurs to potentially get something here. You, we look at, the, at where the two teams are standing. It's number one versus number 16. And of course, the two coaches have got a lot of respect for each other. And they were having a conversation a little bit earlier on. Maybe uh, Coach Mirendorf speaking about the significance of today's game uh, to uh, Rulani Mukwena. Because for Mamalodi Sundowns, if they win today, they once again get to that magical 50-point mark in 20 games. They achieved that feat last season, of course. And as a result, they uh, will broke the record and they'll tie the record if they are able to get the win today. Cape Town Spurs, they have got a massive uh, task ahead of them from uh, today because when you looked at the previous game that they played against Sundowns on the 13th of December, it was a game that Sundowns absolutely dominated. The start of that game saw Sibombuli scoring that cracker and if they are able to get off to a similar start, one gets the feeling that Sundowns will be tough to stop today. It's a massive task ahead for Cape Town Spurs. Sundowns, they'll be brimming with uh, confidence, of course. And one of the reasons for that is the return of Motobi Mvala. Because Motobi Mvala is back. We saw he got injured at the Africa Cup of Nations. And of course, they'll be hoping that he can provide good stability along with Grant Kekana out in the middle. So it's going to be a fascinating game. Sundowns, they're heading back to the change room to get ready for the game. Should be an interesting one. Fiso, thank you so much for giving us that update. So glad that much better weather conditions tonight out in Cape Town. Good news indeed. All right, let's talk about the lineups for these sides. We'll start off with the team that is playing at home in Cape Town Spurs, who, of course, want to get back to winning ways, uh, Dihang, looking at uh, their previous encounter and that loss to Chipa. Yep. I think, uh, obviously, looking at the lineup, yep. a few changes made there. Uh, Dihun is not there. Um, and uh, I think that's some of the changes they've made at the back, but they still have experience. They still have experience, of course. But up front, of course, you've had the likes of Cupido, um, Ben as well in the middle of the park. You know, uh, I think it's Vele Baiza. Those are young players. It's, it's, it's a youthful attack when you think about it. And I think that's brave of him to, to actually add relegation with those boys. Yep. Yeah, I think it's, it's you know, seeing Sampo Kumeda back in the center pairing with where the Hudo normally operates. I think that's going to be very, very important as to then how then he marshal the back line and be able to communicate with his experience and making sure that they're very solid defensively. And with Mamelu Sundowns, of course, with, with a couple of changes, of course, that Fiso has spoken about and Vala being back. Mm. And I think it's just to get more minutes under his belt because he's been injured out in a while. And then maybe rest as well from Udiba. We're seeing Mashiko being back in the team. But uh, you see how strong it is. Ribeiro is in there as well. Tambazwane, uh, Shalulile and Mukwena as well. You can tell that... Uh, 
This is a fixture that uh, Coach Lanham Quinn also takes very, very seriously, wants to wrap this game as soon as possible. Yeah. No, he does. Uh, I don't think they're taking this game uh, for granted in, uh, by any means. But, um, I mean, they also obviously want to play other competitions because they're involved in other competitions, you know, as well. I mean, three competitions, the yeah. league is the Champions League, uh, the, the cup, yeah. local local league, of course, as well. So that is, that is I think, uh, one of some of the things that they want to focus on uh, in terms of wrapping up this league. But it's not going to be tough. You're playing against the bottom team that's fighting for their lives. They're fighting for their lives, but Mamelodi Sundowns themselves also need to maintain their reputation. You remember um, how they played in the first uh, round, of course, in December? Mm. Complete dominance uh, in this encounter. Yeah, I mean, it was expected, Carol, because then uh, Mamelodi Sundowns dominated possession, but for quite some time, because then uh, Spurs was very, very organized defensively. Yeah. Then it took this shot from Sipon Bulli to actually unlock the game, and then from there, the the floodgates are open. And I think also the, naive, the, the how naive we were in terms of defending, because they defended very, very uh, scared in numbers. And then there's so many numbers inside the box, but unable to mark the players. But also it becomes very difficult when playing against a, a team that is free scoring like Mamil Sundowns. Yeah, Cape Town Spurs could only resist for 23 minutes. After that, uh, Sipombule goal, the floodgates basically opened. And then in quick succession, we had Grand Kekan. And then, of course, in the 90th, Shalulil. Yeah. You know, it's difficult to defend against uh, Sundowns for, for, for longer periods of time in a game. I think, you know, uh, that's exactly what happened here with Sundowns. They will find ways. And they're not one-dimensional like most people think. You know, they're not going to go through the middle. They'll use the width if, if, it, if, if it needs to be through Mudawu or whether Mashiko on the left-hand side, of course. And I think that's where they punish teams. You know, you, you can only defend for so long. So that is something that Cape Town Spurs have to be wary of. Yeah. When, to pray, when they do get that opportunity... Uh, which rarely comes because uh, Sundowns always uh, dominates possession. So when they do get it, they must punish. They must be precise and punish. Yeah, these are two very astute uh, coaches uh, that come to a head. And uh, Ernst Middendorp will bear in mind what transpired in that first leg. How does he change things around tonight? What does he have up his sleeve? Let's hear from the coaches. Coach, eight points collected so far in 2024. Are you a lot happier with how your team is going forward? Yeah, it's a little bit uh, difficult for us, uh, in particular the last two games. Uh, experience something uh, what I was not expecting. Uh, of course, we make individual mistakes, but uh, a strange uh, decision. I had the feeling uh, <laughs> it was not allowed for us to make points. Um, uh, but let's not further discuss it. Uh, also, you, you're just you're just surprised that uh, an open door get delivered uh, in the last game, uh, as well as against Richards Bay. Also, quite irritating, quite strange uh, what we experienced. But uh, back to us. Uh, of course, we have to make points ourselves. Uh, it doesn't matter which team we are playing. Uh, it's definitely something, uh, yeah, uh, probably when nobody expects something, uh, we can pick up uh, certain stuff. It's again for us uh, to reduce the distance to position 15. Uh, probably we need two, three, four games uh, and then we will see what's possible uh, finally. You've spoken a, a little bit there about the potential of the team and you've shown it against some of the teams that you are you are able to to go toe to toe with really good sides. Yeah, it's, um, you know if you if you have uh, six or seven players under 21 and you're starting 11 consistently as today even uh, also, um, then you have to expect that it will be uh, a little bit difficult here and there in certain critical phases. In both uh, games, the last two we conceded goals in the 88, 89 minutes uh, in Port Elizabeth and here now against Swallows also. Uh, some individual errors, some mistakes we are making, and but that's normal. If you have uh, such young players, uh, they are capable of, of knowing exactly uh, that the pressure is high. They know that uh, in this moment um, not allowed but uh, we have to expect it. We have to deal with it. And hopefully uh, with every game we do better and less uh, individual mistakes. And of course, today it's, uh, it's a special game for a number of players. Uh, first time to play this uh, giant of uh, Africa. Uh, of course, looking forward. I hope they are not too scared. They are brave. Uh, that should be done and uh, being aggressive in our forward movement. Coach, it uh, should be an exciting game. All the best to you and your team. Thank you. Coach Rolani, firstly, congratulations on making it to the next round of the CAF Champions League. And secondly, Cape Town Spurs, what sort of threat do they pose as a team? Yeah, good team. Uh, of course, with a very experienced coach and Coach uh, Middendorf. Uh, good players. Um, probably the only team that play, okay, of, of course, maybe uh, Royal AM also play a little bit 
of a similar structure with a back three and wing backs. But not a lot of team play, teams play like this. Uh, and you'll see today they've got a lot of physicality in the midfield with Butsaka, Marul in the centre. The speed and the, the intensity of the front three. Vele by Cupido, very, very aggressive. So let's see, good game. I think we'll, uh, we'll have a very good game, but against a very young, experienced and extremely energetic side. As Mamadou de Sundowns, how important is it to have uh, you know, Mvala back in the team? I know he's obviously struggled the injury since the Africa Cup of Nations. Yeah, very important, of course. Uh, he's back. Uh, but it's also important to gradually integrate him into the team. And uh, we have to spend a little bit more time on the pitch together, uh, especially with this uh, phase of the season coming up. So that's, that's objective number one. And then objective number two is to improve on our performances and try to make sure that we are good enough to win against a very good side. Good luck today. Thank you very much. All right, so they know what is at stake, at stake and what it is that they have to do. Who stands out as a, um, a key individual tonight? I think it's, it's Ashley Cupido in terms of his speed going forward, which is looking at Mamelodi Sundown's team, uh, yeah. you can expect Cape Town Spurs to be a little more defensive, especially in a group. Um, knowing that uh, they can only utilize the spaces that Mashekho and Mudao will be leaving behind. Uh, normally, we've seen Mamelodi Sundowns leaving two or one behind, so Kupido will be very keen in terms of using that speed going forward in transition. That's right. Of course, Sundowns, Sundowns, yeah. Yeah, Sundowns have uh, Mashekho on the left hand side. I think he comes in for, for, for Aubrey. I mean, he gives you a lot going forward, but he's more of a traditional winger. Yeah. You know, Mudao Muda would normally come in cuts, in, cuts inside as well. Um, and I think that's what makes it different with him. He adds into the midfield. So, uh, Mashirko will give you a bit of uh, resistance going forward. Yeah, this is the man that uh, we know that uh, is going to be required to do a lot today. A lot of running that's going to be required from him. Yeah. Um, especially from the clearances from or long balls that comes from Gumera, which we know that he can play those diagonal balls. But the space is then that he finds himself in. He needs to be able to utilize and, and, and also integrate the guys that are also come in from, from there to support. Because Terminator spoke about the few chances that they might get. Yep. You need to be very clinical in those. That's right. Yep. Of course, Mashiko is the man that we spoke about. Look, he's, he's up against uh, Nkwali, the youngster, the 18, 19 year old, the teenager. So it will be interesting, uh, interesting how that battle will go. Um, yeah, we expect him to push higher up. I mean, he enjoys going forward, putting in those crosses will be something that he needs to make sure that he delivers quality crosses. That's right. And you've predicted a Cape Town Spurs victory. Look, <laughs> Yazin, uh, <laughs> I, I want to see a shock today. Good in the and Sundowns, it's obvious, man. I think it's obvious. Let's, let's give them a, a challenge, a chance as well. I want to give them an opportunity. Okay. I want them to, to give us a shock. Fanda. Okay, like that, yeah. <laughs> That's a moment in Sundowns. I think it's, uh, they'll try and wrap it up as soon as possible. Uh, they struggled against uh, Richards Bay, so they want to make sure that today it's, it's, it's a little bit easier for them. Excellent stuff. All right, what are your predictions? Uh, let us know on the socials. And of course, as you've just seen, super picks as always. Uh, so make sure that you send in your picks and stand in line to win money. After the break, oh, it's Cape Town Spurs, Mamelodi Sundowns. They are ready and raring to go.
This is a vista of the beautiful Cape Town on a sunnier day. The weather over the last couple of days has been inclement here in the Western Cape, but still a wonderful tourist destination, of course, full of visitors. The visitors tonight in the DSTV Premiership are Mamalodi Sundowns. The champions are in town for the clash against Cape Town Spurs. So these are our live pictures from Athlone Stadium. A bit of mist, no rain, but certainly cold out there. And it's going to be tough conditions for uh, both of these sides. Top versus bottom as Cape Town Spurs host Mamalodi Sundowns. One side on their way to yet another league title, the other in dire straits and with matches running out as they seek to effect a miracle recovery. Crowd has grown. We expect around 5,000 here tonight. The weather is keeping uh, a lot of people away. A gap of 37 points between these two sides as uh, Sundowns look to inch their way closer to a record extending uh, seventh league title in a row. And of course, a 17th overall. They're looking the season to also become the first side in the history of South African football to finish a league campaign uh, unbeaten. Tonight they will pass the 50-point mark here if they get a result against the home side. Welcome though to uh, everyone out there and of course William Shongwe who's been braving the cold here in the Cape over the last couple of days. Let's talk quickly William about the weather and the conditions first of all. There's a little bit of wind but further um, it's just soft underfoot and that for me is the biggest challenge. Yes, the roll of the ball is going to be excellent, the bounce is going to be beautiful, but uh, it's too soft and uh, you might see sp players slippery all over the pitch. Two changes for Cape Town Spurs on the side that uh, lost at Chipper United in their last encounter. Luke Batman back into the lineup uh, today and also Tsepo Gumede in defence. He replaces the injured uh, Rafik Dukura. Buyo Pepeo is still out with injury, but uh, Boitemelo Radio Pane back from injury and onto the bench. Goals have dried up completely for Spurs in the last two games, though the presence and return of Bartman after recovering from an injury should uh, maybe be a, a big motivation for Kupuro in front of him. But uh, Butaka and Villepai on either side of the two channels should bring a big impact in as far as creating the necessary ch chances. Mamalodi Sundowns come with a heavy hitting uh, lineup for uh, today's encounter. They make just four changes from Friday's lineup against young Africans of Tanzania. Terence Mashek on the left in place of Divine Lunga. Aubrey Modibo makes way for uh, Toby Mvala and Kulise and Mayama in place of Allende and Lorch. Two possibly of the hardest working defensive midfielders in the country. I'm talking box to box now. The impact obviously is both defensive and in, in, in defense. But uh, now there's a whole lot more in that attack for me. If you look at Ribeiro, who's the lead, um, joint top goal scorer at the moment, and he brings her leader, who's a former uh, top goal scorer himself. So for Sundowns, it's all attack. Tabam Cabela takes charge of uh, tonight's game with Elfas Sitole Maneo Tau as his two linesmen. Ernst Mittendorp on the bench for uh, the home side. He's been a coach of eight different clubs in South African football, stretching back almost 20 years. His record against Sundown, six wins in 27 past matches. Rolani McQuenna, tonight his 40th league game in solo charge of the club. He's won 29 and drawn 10, yet to lose a league match since being the solo head coach. We now pause for a moment of silence for Luke Fleers tragically killed last week the Kaiser Chiefs defender. So Spurs began the year brightly without defeat in four successive league games. They picked up eight points out of a possible 12, but they've lost their way again a little with successive defeats to uh, Morocco Swallows and Chipper United in their last two games. They are looking for only a fourth league win of the season. One less than the number of goals that Mamalodi Sundowns have conceded in this campaign. It really is a David against Goliath's tussle tonight. 34 scored for Sundowns. 
and only 18 for Spurs. That basically tells the story a whole lot more. But even worse for Spurs, 39 considered. That makes the story even more difficult. But you know what? In this type of games, listen, there's always that slight opportunity. Maybe, just maybe, you just never know. But this is the game of football. Last two league matches for Sundowns, they took a while to get their goals. Maritzburg, they won 2 0. Lord scored late in that game. He grabbed a double. And then the last league game at home against Richards Bay, five minutes into stoppage time at the end of the game, Junior Mendieta with uh, the winner. The last time Mamelodi Sundowns lost a game in domestic football was right here at the Athlone Stadium. Stellenbosch beat them in the Netbank Cup quarter final last season. It was on the 15th of April. Just under a week shy of a year ago now. We wait to get matters underway. Sundowns will attack the goal to the right hand side, uh, restoring that uh, top two attacking pair of Shalulile and Ribeiro. McQuainer, of course, uh, the genius in the middle. They've got Mvala back uh, from his uh, Cup of Nations injury. There's a rare opportunity on the left today for Mashejo, who of course will know the conditions uh, well from his time here at uh, Cape Town City. Sundowns, of course, if you don't know yet, are playing in the Brazilian colours, the yellow and blue. Spurs in their traditional uh, red and white home side here today. Single clean sheet all season long. Sundowns with the most clean sheets this season, a total of 13. Sundowns uh, unbeaten on the road as well in the sneak competition. Ribeiro early flags up against Shallow Lille. Oh, that must have been very tight, the placing because I thought I made that run, a blind run, beautifully, just after the pull was hit it'll be very interesting yes is on the borderline there very very tight call indeed totally the linesman on the right hand side Ribeiro as you mentioned 10 goals uh, the leading goal scorer in the league along with uh, Tejo Fazzo Mabasa of Orlando Pirates who scored a hat-trick against Golden Arrows at the weekend Ashley Cupido on the other side for Spurs he's their top goal scorer with six he hasn't got a goal in their last four meetings. This is Veli Bai now. Tricky little player down the left-hand side. Gets a little knock in the face, but uh, referee's not interested. Play continues. Yeah, Kutu spoke about uh, Copido. For me, I'm thinking to myself, you know, the missing player in the Spurs team, that is Pewa, has really hasn't helped the cause of Spurs because... Uh, the past results, positive results that they were getting, his contribution was very, very evident. Ribeiro had the last touch there, throw in, and you can see already the pressing game of Mamelodi Sundowns putting extreme pressure in the midfield on uh, Spurs. It was a good bit of work there from Liam Byrne, but dispossessed. Last home game here against Swallows. Spurs conceded deep. Uh, into the game, in fact, in the last minute to uh, Frank Mahongo. What will surprise you a little bit, please, is when you look at Spurs. Normally, teams, when they play against Sundowns and uh, obviously in the position that Spurs are, they create a very low block. But uh, today, it looks like it's a medium one. And uh, to an extent, a little bit of a high when you look at it, that defensive line, which is a little bit scary for me. In balls of this nature, ball played overhead. Ribeiro is out wide here. Back inside again. Maybe a little over elaborate from Mamalodi Sundowns. Chance to pull the trigger. Just feel they're going to have plenty of opportunity. Last meeting between these two sides, a comfortable 3 0 win in mid December for Sundowns at Loftus Fessoff. Now, Veli Bai will tease the team. Young uh, Batman, the 17 year old to take on uh, the Bafana defender Mudal. The back line here for uh, Mamaloni Sanaz, the two centre-backs Mvala and Kakana, the two full-backs Mudal and Mashepo, as well as goalkeeper Williams, all part of the uh, Cup of Nations squad. The 
and just ahead of them, McQuenna in possession, also played in the tournament in the Ivory Coast. And a big ask for uh, bottom of the table Cape Town Spurs in this encounter. Yeah, it's my priority here. You see how high they are. Actually, they've just forced an error for Mamela and Sundowns in their build-up play. I'm talking Spurs now, that uh, that block is certainly uh, one of a kind if you expect a, if you expect a, a team that is uh, is that low in the log and attracted by relegation the approach is completely different what you'll have expected your boy is looking to innovate and uh, almost anticipating what his opposite number would be expecting from him and also Clinton, um, there are games that you want to try and play to win or collect points and there are games that you can actually uh, try things out because you know that maybe uh, it's uh, it's an impossible task to be able to get anything from them playing against sundowns it's a game that you can throw away not like deliberately but you can use it to try an error Still firmly at the bottom of the table, 12 points from 22 games. Richards Bay are five ahead of them after success at the weekend. I suppose, of course, didn't play the weekend. This game uh, moved back a few days because Mamelodi Sundowns were involved in Champions League action on Friday night. Sundowns next league game against Swallows before that on Friday coming at Attrichville they take on Amatux University of Pretoria in the quarter-final of the Nedbank Cup Spurs will have uh, the weekend off as they uh, look ahead to uh, a trip to Sikakuni United on uh, the weekend of the 20th of April in from Doughty looking for Valley by good touch from him and the left footed shot. Williams makes the save. Looked uh, headed perhaps onto the uh, woodwork. Or maybe might have just snuck in. Very tight angle, but uh, lots of self confidence in this young man. And he's how he's able to pull the ball with his right and then strike it with the left. It's actually a great save from Ronin. It was direct towards goal. 21 years old, Veli Bai. Now the opportunity from the set piece. Burn back up into the air. Sundown's clear with McQuena. Not effectively, though. This is going to go wide from Dorkley in search of Veli Bai again. Calm header back to his goalkeeper from Mvala. Then the long ball here for Ribeiro. Lovely ball from uh, Williams. And Ribeiro looking at the linesman all the time, knowing that he perhaps uh, was offside. Up uh, fairly early. In fact, Rivera said, Why did you make me bother there? It should have gone a little earlier. A kick from the goalkeeper. If there's a taking player strays off, um, yes, an offside. But uh, if it's a goal kick, then it's a different story. You can, uh, as a striker, stay as high as you can. And if the ball reaches you, you are free to go on and score. Remember, that used to be a tactic at the Land of Pirates when Ruth Kroll was the coach. We need Josephs, the goalkeeper. Yes, Batman. There could have perhaps been a bit more interest on the right hand side from uh, Cupido. Batman going for goal, but shanking it uh, across and turning it almost into a, a decent uh, square pass. Slow bit into that far post, and yes, Cupido, I think, was the player running on that far side. They could have been able to get to the end of it. And you call it uh, two shots, one on target. That's very positive. Once again, the point I made earlier they're very offensive in this game, surprisingly. Which Look at the possession stats. Sundown's averaging 70% this season, the best of any team in the league. The Spurs only 44.5%. They usually like uh, to catch the opponent on the counter. Now, Shanolide back to goal, looking for Ribeiro. That's the fall for Valley Bay. And the big clearance. Uh, 
Toase from Shalilile was a little bit behind the Ribeiro. So as you mentioned, a cup game coming up on Friday, then a league game next week against Swallows. We're off to Tunisia for the first leg of the Champions League semi-final against Esperance. like a, a long-range shot. Rossov came off his line, cleared away though ahead of him by Gumede. That's now going to be a challenge uh, for Spurs. Sundowns are very patient in their build-up, almost like they're drawing Spurs out of their defensive line. But you've seen already in the time that the game has been played, 10 minutes, how many balls have been uh, Played over the defensive line to try and get Ribeiro or Shalile going forward. Good steal from Byrne and then the cross inside from Cupido. Far too hurried. Too close to uh, Williams as well. Now Miami puts his head down. Away he goes. Jared Barol with an excellent clearance and Benny Bai keeps it in play. He's onside two. He'll be taking on Mudao again. Left foot now to the right, turns inside, looks for Batman. Back in again from Dortley. This is Kamangi, the uh, Tanzanian international. He gives away the free kick. This uh, Tanzanian compatriots knocked out of the Champions League in somewhat uh, controversial manner on Friday. Sundowns. Winning eventually on penalties after a goalless uh, tie on aggregate against young Africans from Dar es Salaam. But did young Africans score a goal in that game, which wasn't given to them? Did the ball cross the line or not? That's been the debate that's uh, been raging around African football over the last couple of days. Now, when you say he scored and then it wasn't disallowed, uh, we're still not sure if it did to start with. So maybe it wasn't scored. Tanzanian side has uh, registered a protest, but they're not going to get very far with that referee's decision always final in those matters. And now, shots at Bosov. Good strike. The invitation uh, Zwane needed no encouragement to seek an opportunity to fire in. Bosov straight down here, looking for uh, Cupido. Williams on his line, flags up. Takes the free kick quickly as well, does uh, Williams. Like what Boshov did there. He said, when you're not sure about the angling, you just clap the ball down and uh, pick, up, pick it up on the second bite. And particularly in these conditions, when you know that it would be easy for the ball to slip out of your hands because of the conditions. Um, but you obviously do that uh, within safe environment whereby there's no immediate threat. Okwena. That's another. From deep in the middle, and try and catch that uh, defensive line with a high ball from Okwena. All the way back with Nibala. They'll start this slow, patient build-up again. Will uh, Mamelodi Sundowns? Okwena. That's already no surprise there. I suppose we'll be looking for the steal in the middle from the likes of uh, Kamagi and Byrne and Kutsaka, the skipper. Mokwena. Swane plays it wide. Here's the pace of Masheko. Square ball. Knocked away by Borsov. That's a good save. Could have gone into a crowd of players, but he got uh, real currency on that to clear it. Mokwena, 
Well, all the time the Spurs are holding out here, it's still early in this game, of course, but their confidence will be growing. Burn. Looking to get it wide to uh, Velibai. Kamagi usually out on the flanks is being employed today in the midfield. Ribeiro now runs into traffic. Many buys been nice and busy down the left here, looking to get Bartman going. Zwane, Ribeiro on the right. Shalulila waits in the middle. So does Mayama. There's Zwane again. Police here. screaming at uh, Sundowns to have a shot. Not their way though. They patient well, the dummy from uh, Bokwena almost put in Kalisi up as well but he does do well to find Shalulili out wide now Mashejo back into Mokwena he'll go for goal that's not a bad effort from uh, Mokwena over the top of Bosov's goal quarter of an hour gone still no score here Sundowns picking up the pieces now they're beginning to find uh, the firing line and it's a, it's a threatening to the goalkeeper but now this is created first it's this cross from the wide right Mashiko which the goalkeeper does well but not high enough listen I would expect it to be a little bit higher just to avoid anybody encroaching closest to the goal but that was good enough but that is what is happening now says Sundowns have finally managed to get Spurs on the back foot so far back that there's that low block now more independency to recycle the ball around the center line look at the passes already in this game 151 to 27 again no surprise but it does uh, give you some indication of the health, uh, talent confidence ability position on the log table it's one against 16 in this evening's encounter here in the DSTV Premiership back post Mudao away from Dorty Mudao might get a second effort here he's going to leave this for a corner Sundowns will get the uh, first set piece opportunity for the lack of pressure from Spurs on the Sundowns defense it allows Mudao and my shepherd to be able to bring this kind of crosses this one obviously was blocked but you'll see a bit more of these two fullbacks making headway in the attack for sundowns Peter shallow always neat and tidy the shirt tucked in doesn't remind me of Marco Fognani played short this time I won there, keepers off his line, chance at the back post, and Spurs will clear away. Off the chest from uh, Zepo Gumedes, bringing experience into that back line tonight. A product of this Spot United development. Of course, looking for his first goal this year. The last one he scored was against Spurs in mid December. Again, uh, far too many red shirts there, and they'll clear away from Cupido. Just the lone uh, man up front, uh, young Luke Bartman. McQuena over the top, looking for Shallow Lida, and that's going to get away from him. Says no worries, bring them, keep bringing them. And but uh, this one obviously was a little bit longer. As you look at uh, this corner taken earlier. Oh. Hit him offside there. Flag stayed down. Made it coming across, getting his chest in the way and uh, knocking it to safety. Here's 
Vidal. It's a little bit soft on the foot here. Yeah, yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a little bit wet as well, a bit greasy. So when that ball hits the ground, it does tend to roll a bit forward than usual. But too early to be booked for uh, time wasting, but the ref did have a little bit of a word there with uh, Borsov. Congregating here on the left hand side of the pitch. The old Gavin Hunt Super Sport second ball. Uh, he always liked a good number nine, didn't he? To get that flick on Ben Salmon was an expert at that. Uh, Tefra, if I remember, was very good. Then he sat in Vela. Absolutely. So, the thing is, that his mentality is play of the front. It's a word that he often used in the dressing room. Meaning that he, he's not going to have too many build ups because he's not sure about uh, them being able to keep the ball safely. But if you play around the center line to start knocking the passes there in your build up into creating a chance, it's like it's a little bit safer. Even if the ball is accepted, you still got players behind. Chambazwani in possession. Zero. And it's cleared by Maroli. Try and find Batman if they can. He's going to have to do a lot of running uh, without the ball, of course, in this game today. With Quena. And unfortunately, Christian, when, even when Spurs does that, that it's rule to clear. It's like clearing to, to rule because there's hardly anybody in the attack to hold the ball maybe a little bit longer. It all falls for down now. So that's just a reputation of the same. to Kekana, this is Mbala now. Dummy there from Mosheko. It's good defensive work again from uh, Gourmede. He's come into the lineup uh, after coming on as a sub in the last game against Chip. A new signing, of course, Gourmede. He was at Maritzburg last season, but he didn't have a club for the six months, the first six months of this campaign. Oh, Spurs take it away. This might be a ch rare chance for them. Kamagi's under pressure here. Gets it out wide to Veli Bai. Batman joins in. Norty's uh, ball is going to be all the way back to his goalkeeper. Defender out on the right is uh, young Kwali. Uh, he gives it away. So here come... Uh, Amaloni Sundowns, McQuena stopped in his tracks. Kulise out wide. And again, a little flick on header from Shalu Lile. The clearance from Veli Bai is high up into the night sky. McCain decided he'd stay. Mudao on the right. Rubiro behind him. Zwani rather. Here's Ribeiro. Mokwena. Zwani. Back in, looking for Mokwena. Spurs are holding on. Ribeiro, Mokwena. It's an expectant crowd. Referee's in the way there. Still Ribeiro. Good skills. Now the ball is square. Oh, that's a miss. From close range. Dale Maema with the best chance of the night so far. Well, I mean, it's, the level of patience by Marlon the Sundowns is unbelievable. I mean, to be able to find one another, one another in those tight spaces like that, just done in this move, it's incredible. Normally, that's when the team sitting gets the better of the team attacking, but somehow Sundowns gets it through all the passes successfully to the last man to be able to finish, which is Maema. And there was not a whole lot wrong with the way that he approached the six to side, one aside footed, but uh, doesn't get it right. Frustration so, for uh, Rolani Mokwena, although they see the funny side now on the uh, bench. One goal so far this season in the league for Neil Maema. That was against Kaiser Chiefs right at the beginning of this uh, league campaign. 
the smiles is almost saying that we know it's coming. It's just a matter of time. We're very chilled about it. It's a big miss. There's Bartman. He's going to look for Cupido. That's a fine ball. Cupido on the full volley. Not a bad idea, but the execution let him down. Not going to get too many chances like that tonight. Maybe a little more patience is what Ernst might be suggesting. It's just like you said. There's not a whole lot, whole lot, whole lot wrong about the way that I did it. A surprise shot like that. Nobody catches the goalkeeper for a foot hit because you still expect the uh, attacking player to bring it down under control and then maybe size the angle and all that. So hitting it on the ball, it definitely was the way to go about it. Bortley comes across to the challenge on Ribeiro. He wins possession back. Now Veli Bay. Looking at his options. Out wide here. Kwali will come forward. Now the Spurs fans have got something to cheer about. That ball is asking far too much of uh, Kupido. At some stage it looked like Kupido was asking for it to be played over the defensive line but uh, then somehow he decided to slow down and that's exactly the time that when he decides to put it through he's only 18 years old in quality this uh, tonight is his uh, seventh start for uh, spurs he made his debut uh, earlier on at the beginning of this year and, uh, Significant changes that Ernst Mittendorf has brought to this team and uh, he's kept his place ever since. Now Zwane. Magi takes it away. Up to Batman. All that stuck there. The idea was to play it into Veli Bai. Veli Bai has possession. Looking for Batman. Legal challenge. Police, Police who apologizes to the referee just in case there might be some sanction. To now as well. Also, a bit of time for spares to get the breath. You know, they've been chasing and on the back foot for since the game started. And I think it's important to get such moments to just calm down slightly and also gain a few feet forward this now allows them to have the ball played into a dangerous block with into a dangerous area in the attack uh, with quite a number of uh, space players burn currency on that one snapping at swanee's heels with possession goalkeepers must be Involved every now and then. I think uh, we haven't seen uh, Ron Williams in the longest possible time since the game started. And I think uh, just out of concern for me, it's like defenders must only know that we got another player just behind us. Give him a bit of uh, action as well. Get, let him get the feel of the ball. Spurs, of course, with 12 points. Nine of those collected on uh, their home turf. Times though, yeah, in the Cape. Uh, the season, uh, particularly in the beginning of the campaign, and a big ask if they are to uh, avoid relegation at the end of the season. Actually, second for the United coming up uh, for them next, and then there's a veritable cup final against Richards Bay at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the party City at home, Sport United away in May. Get uh, any easier for those people to walk on his side. We'll finish at home to Kaiser Chiefs. Flags up. The guy was looking for that ball and uh, patently offside. He had told his run just a little bit longer. Oh, 
Well, are they going to make it to the 30 minute mark without conceding? They'll see that as uh, a boost. That is all in the plan. Now, alongside what you just said, you'll notice that in the last, what, five games for Spurs, they're not conceding as much. I mean, if you look at the, the 30, whatever, nine that they considered, it happened before meaning of game. So recent, most recently, they're defending very well. Only five considered in the last five games, an average of one. So that's not a bad return at all. So I think alongside that story, which has been able to at least resolve, defend better, and then hopefully you can catch the opposition on the counter. So, so far, so good. First win of the season came against the Lander Pirates, so they have taken a major sculpt in this campaign. Big ask today if they, or tonight, if they are to uh, add Mamalodi Sundowns to that list. <laughs> so 30 minutes gone now and uh, on the attack. Emma gets the ball from Shalulile. Ali's the defender. There's Mkulise. Not quite too much Sheffield. That left foot will drill this ball in. No one's picked it up, and Veli Bai will clear in the end. He had a uh, calm head too. Didn't panic. Now Ribeiro. Mudao. Too strong from Zwane. Goal kick it'll be. Amazingly, William Sundowns today playing away from home in the league for the first time this year. Before that, uh, their last away game was against Cape Town City on uh, Christmas Eve. The goal is draw, which ended their uh, winning start of the season. Their last seven league fixtures have all been at home. Hmm. Maybe their biggest concern is those two draws. I think one of the moments against City. City and Paul Aquani City as well. Yes. One seven of eight on the road. Mamelo de Sundowns. The other one a draw. That was the Cape Town City game. 22 out of a possible 24 points collected in the away matches that they've played in the league so far this season. to think that in the history of professional football in this country never has there been a season where there has been a team that's finished unbeaten sundowns one game a couple of seasons ago when they lost to kaiser chiefs that's the record at the moment there were seasons uh, where teams lost two matches Bushbucks, you'll remember them in 1985 when they were champions under Clive Barker. Mm -hmm. Kaiser Chiefs in uh, 2005. Was it five or six with uh, Ted Dimitri? 2005. Uh, please allow me to bring a little bit of the stats from uh, out from elsewhere. 1985, Manzini Wanderers in the Kingdom of Eswatini. Went all this season unbeaten. There's no record that stands still today. Is it? Yeah, it's a red feat, of course. There's the famous Invincibles in uh, the Premier League, Arsenal and Arsene Wenger. But if Sundowns can do it in this season, they've got another 10 games after this. That will be uh, a new one for South African football. Here's McQuena. Mosheko runs into traffic. Now maybe Butsaka can get away here. Mosheko is very quick though. Kwali for Batman. Caught by the bounce of the ball. Well covered. Well read at the same time. We've had to see the uh, involvement of Butsaka and Veliba. I mean, Veliba will see him quite a bit, but only in his own half, trying to help out defensively. That takes away the attacking venom of what this players can do with the ball in their taking side. Butsaka is the same. Hardly seen him stray past or out, out wide where he can deliver a cross. Cupido has hardly had any service. So is Bartman. Mokwena sizing up options ahead of him. We are uh, 
Well into this first half now on a chilly Cape night, the big rainstorm came and went. Not as much damage as uh, was predicted, but certainly some areas are quite heavily affected. Now Machejo. Still Machejo into the penalty area, and then he's overcooked it a bit. Unfortunately so. I mean, he does well. He gets past the defender beautifully, and he's got time and extra space. But that pass to help get him past the defender was a little bit too strong. And you notice every time uh, Ronaldo McQuena is upset with uh, one of the actions of his players, he goes across to the cooler box and gives it a good slam. Took his eyes off the ball. I think he's looking to see the options inside the box. Ten minutes to half time here at the Athlone Stadium. Kana now is sizing up his options. Turnia from Mokwena. Shekho joining the party's Tembazwane. He's the creative force, of course. Uh, in from Mashejo. Burns a clear. Nice clearance too into Veli Bay. Mudao got a little bit of a touch in there. The pressure continues. McQuena back to goalkeeper Williams. Williams with 11 clean sheets this season. It's uh, top of the table in that department. In total for the Milan Sunders in this company. Nadal. Ball comes across. Forcing Ribeiro out. Ribeiro with a turn. Good work from Jared Moreau. Turn of a leg with a tackle. Yeah, you talk about those clean sheets, uh, Jason. If you've only considered five in as many games as Sundowns has played, 19 all in all, and it makes a lot of sense that uh, you will have many clean sheets. Only five considered. That's, that's another statistics that for me is possibly going to. Uh, well, let me wait your end of the season. Let me wait your appetite. Uh, 21 clean sheets in 30 games for Kaiser Chiefs in the 2004 season. And we're going to rely on you to remember who the uh, goalkeeper was. So that's the record. Which is in Tamil season, really? 2004, 2003, 2004. And then there's possibly, yeah. And uh, 21 from 30. So uh, they've got a way to go still, the Marmalodi Sundowns, to beat uh, Kaiser Chiefs record. Hmm. Let's see what happens in the next 10 games or 12 games. Goalkeeper that year was a combination of Brian Beloy and Fernandez. And uh, Rowan Fernandez have both played 15 league games each. Half time, Cape Town Spurs, I think, will be absolutely delighted. Imagine a point even more against the, the might of Mamalodi Sundowns. Here's Mudao. Police Dorothy had the last touch. Throw in here on the right hand side to Mamalodi Sundowns. The challenge, of course, Sir Clayton, for any team that plays Mamalodi Sundowns can never assume that uh, this is how it's going to end up. I mean, we've seen teams defending so well, almost to the death of a game. Which is made just uh, one league game ago. So, the story is far from over. Again, Marol gets ahead of Ribeiro, throwing again the Mamalodi Sundowns on the right-hand side. With uh, 
Neil Miami now, left foot. Out comes Bosov. Chase on here for Kupido. And his ball uh, again far too strong. Gave up the run way too early. But obviously could read that I'm um, never going to get there. But it wasn't a bad idea still. Roman Williams last season, 18 clean sheets. That's uh, the record for an individual in the PSL William. You need Joseph with 17. Break all the records, Williams. Really by, he's going to be caught here, and it's going to just spill away. Well, what's the referee say? Penalty. Well, Very by was in no trouble at all. Manny McQuinn demanding the card as well, which might seem a little uh, excessive, but uh, Very by is going to get. Portion here. The yellow can only be no worse than that. There is confirmation of the yellow, but uh, well, they were in no trouble there at all. And then Veli Bai got himself caught here. Shalulina got the better of him. That might have been outside the area, in fact. He did catch Shalulile. Let's have a better look here. Shalulile takes the ball away. And there's the contact well outside the area, it would seem to me, William. What do you think? Clearly. But now, normally the holding that always uh, is considered if it goes all the way into the inside. There, it was just a clip which happened clearly outside. Well, the penalty has been given, no VAR. And Ribeiro with a chance to go back top of the goal-scoring chance. Looking for his 11th league goal of the season. Up against Neil Bosov. If ever there was a time now for a big save from Bosov, this is it. Ribeiro easily finishes Mamalodi Sundowns, break the deadlock with three minutes to half-time. Well, there was a little of their own making their uh, spurs, but they can also feel somewhat aggrieved. That seemed to be uh, a free kick rather than a penalty. But Bosov is... What did Villabai had as a business to be able to hold the ball in such a dangerous area? I mean, the conditions are not favorable to start with. Almost it reminds me of uh, the defender over the weekend. Um, I'm trying to think uh, which game it was, whereby uh, he got a red card. I mean, Cupido over the weekend on Sunday, whereby he had chance to be able to clear that ball to the goalkeeper, but Dili Deli then uh, eventually found himself wanting where he had to push Letualo. Le Ribeiro puts Sundowns in the lead. We came under complete control. Every now and then flashes of Sundowns showing the class, but uh, nothing threatening. Veli Bai into the book, gives away the penalty and leaves his coach shaking his head. So close to uh, making it to the change room for the break. Up comes Williams, makes the save. Big question though, William Shongwe, was that inside or outside the box? We will have uh, certainly a look at it. I'm sure with our half-time panel and uh, spot on will be on the case of the on Monday next week. But between me and you, I agree, Marcus. I don't think that it's a debate. It's it, it's just that after the first tackle, this does is there any other conduct that happens once they get inside the box? But he was already falling from the tackler outside of the box, which the uh, official on this near side, the assistants will have actually at least be helpful in uh, helping the ref state that it happened outside. Oh, that's where this is. the Lions when you mind well of uh, assistant Mr. Cabela, Mr. Sintoli. There 
is the challenge. Very difficult, but it's so quick. Now, is there holding? If there's holding, there's the clip. Not much holding. Catches him initially outside the area, falls inside. Tough call for the officials, you might add. One minute to the break, and then uh, not much time to be added on afterwards as well. It's all those other factors that surround the call of this nature, this and that will count uh, one with further analysis where you can stop and let it roll forward to see what happens next and uh, a little bit of a hand. Now another strong challenge from Gumede. Here they come. Mudal, they're looking for a, a second before the break. Zwane. Police. Chaloline back to goal. And they'll get a corner out of that. That's Charles Lille playing with his back to goal. He have too many options though to knock the ball back to anybody in the box. So he forces a shot of his own. Two minutes added on, stoppage time here at the end of the first half. Mamalodi Sundowns. stand now they will move above the 50 point mark for the season now the turn here Vala denied back in from Mashejo high up in the air from Gubede second attempt he gets rid of it there's always a Sundowns man though to pick up the loose ball Kakana on this occasion Mudao Zwane securing the league title they could possibly do that in their next uh, three four league matches it depends heavily of course on what uh, the chasing pack do in the coming weeks they've been cup action this weekend so we do have a little bit of a respite from the dstv premiership charolina inside now zwane Well, that the referee says is the end of the first half. So, Mamaloni Sundowns in the lead at the break, William Shongwe, but uh, it took a penalty from Ribeiro just before half time to break the deadlock but all the other numbers point in one direction it's Sundowns that was dominating creating the chances making the entries and uh, spares were on the edge throughout and uh, they did actually very well to even stay that long uh, well Ernst Mittendorf's looking for a bit of trouble here he's going off to the referees in the uh, center circle uh, Tepo Gomede was trying to stop him referee Cabela is uh, paying uh, him no heed at all the fourth official uh, trying to calm down the situation too. Maybe he has the same concerns that we, we have. That decision to give it as a penalty, uh, there's a big question marks there. Oh, let's see what the uh, second half gives us here at the Athlone Stadium, but uh, plenty of talking points from the first 45 minutes. Mamelodi Sundowns, the defending champions and runaway league leaders are ahead. A goal to nil.
Well, just a reminder, of course, that uh, lots of excitement to look forward to on the weekend. Chasing the sun continues. And then on the road with the Two Oceans Marathon, 13th of April from a quarter past five in the morning. We'll be giving you live coverage. So... Lots of action, lots of drama, and th there was one particular incident that saw Mamelodi Sundowns, of course, in the lead that had Ernst Middendorf irate. Yeah, I mean, uh, can see that uh, he's questioning the referee, maybe possibly from the penalty call yes. that was given. And especially when you're fighting for your life there in, in the bottom of the league. So you, at times you feel like, you know, your back's against the wall. And you can see how displeased he is with the referee, with the decision that was taken there. Especially when he thought that, you know, they'd done so well to, to, to keep them at bay and hold them back. Save for that incident, we're going to take a look at it, yeah. um, which is the only reason why they're trailing. Yeah, precisely. I think it's, it's the time that uh, the incident happened, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's frustrating, of course, for the coach. Look, Vele Pai finds himself in a, in a, in a you know, in an unfamiliar territory, so to speak. He is, of course, uh, you know, uh, left back, or wing back. But he takes too long on the ball. One, two, three touches. He thinks about that pass to the keeper. But Sundowns won't watch him do that, of course. And they know. They set those traps. And that's what uh, uh, I think uh, caused the, uh, made him uh, concede that, that foul there in the box. I mean, he's desperate, obviously, to win the ball back. Yes, it happens slightly outside. Outside, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it happens outside. Yeah. But it's just that it's unfortunate because the referees then managed to make a decision. But also, as he was walking towards the where the incident happened. I thought he was going to point outside the box, but then I'm sure that's why Coach Merendop is so uh, displeased with that yeah. decision because he thought that incident actually started outside when Palutia Shalilio fell on the, in the inside of the box. That's right, but they get given the penalty and uh, Rivero, look at that, putting them right there at the harm in terms of goal scored. Uh, so far this season, coolly slotted away. And uh, really unfortunate because uh, before that, throughout the, the half, Fenerbahce really stood out. I mean, he's, he's, he's an outstanding player, uh, very energetic, very young as well. Um, he's also one of the, the players that they use in transition, playing as a left wing back. You can see he's committing with Dow inside the box. Um, his, work, his work rate as well, it's very, very impressive in this first half. Yeah, I mean, until that incident, of course, yeah. where he considered, I think he, he did well, and hence he's been playing. But Sundowns were always uh, piling up the pressure. Mashiko, of course, on that left-hand side, putting in the crosses. And uh, look, <laughs> it, it, it's always been pressure from Sundowns, as we expected. But I think that mistake... Um, the coach won't be happy with that, of course, but, um, I mean, he's a young boy, uh, yeah. he makes mistakes. It's unfortunate that he makes those mistakes when a team is fighting relegation. Yeah, really, really unfortunate, but uh, it's about how you come back, of course, in the second. Mamelo de Sundowns could have taken the lead earlier, before that particular incident. We had counted this one in. Yeah, I mean, th this picture really, really shows us where the game is for Mamelo yeah. Sundowns. It's always been in that box where... Um, Cape Town Spurs really, really defending in. And here, Ribeiro, you know, taking that risk inside the box, knowing that when inside the box is an attacker, anything can happen. You want to dribble past one, but here, Maneo Mayama could have done better. Could have at least tried at least to hit the target. Mm. And I think they could have actually went 1-0 up with this chance. All right, now, Mamelodi Sundowns have dominated the previous 45 clashes in the Prem uh, with Cape Town Spurs, even in its previous guys. Um, and uh, seemingly, yes, dominating this encounter as well. Yeah, they, they, they dominate in terms of possession, we expect that. But here's, I think, something that uh, Cape, Town, Cape Town Spurs have to take into the second half is, is, is to punish Sundowns whenever they get on a break. We spoke about it before the game. That's what they need to do in the second half. They need to use the speed and uh, precision, of course. Uh, clinically, I think they need to do better uh, to, to, to finish. Exactly. And does that mean that uh, maybe they make changes as well? Um, well, that is uh, the question for Cape Town Spurs. There's no loss of pictures. <laughs> Still right here. <laughs> Are they looking at changes? That's another uh, question and another possibility. Let's see what transpires, of course, in the second half. They're chasing this game, Cape Town Spurs, and know how critical it is for them to get something out of it.
closer to what would be a record extending seventh league title in a row and 17 in total. So, Mapate will come on and Luke Bartman will go off. That will mean a little bit of a switch in uh, the attack and Pate a little bit wide on the right hand side. Maybe Veli Bai will go into the middle alongside Cupido. William Shongwe is our expert analyst. He'll figure that all out for us in a moment or two as uh, Spurs get matters underway here at the start of the second half. Pate signed from uh, Richards Bay in the January transfer window. Well, from one uh, frying pan into the next. Now, Benny Bai owes his team one after conceding that penalty uh, just before the break. In fact, it's Butaka that will drop a little bit more central into the place where Bartman was playing. Uh, just looking at uh, a few seconds ago, we saw Veliba is still pretty much holding that left wide position. Well, Melody Sandman has a four changes uh, from Friday's Champions League game. Thought maybe they'd come with a pretty much the same side that played against Richards Bay in their previous league encounter, which would have been uh, more changes. Perhaps the idea is on Friday when they play uh, Tux in the Denmark Cup many of their regulars and that big game coming up uh, two Saturdays time at Esperance of Tunisia African Champions League semi-final first leg now Mukwena out wide finds Mudao in plenty of space as well into the area straight against Dortley though Veli Bayer will take possession Mukwena In fact, if anything, I think uh, uh, Cupido maybe lost the plan there because he seemed to drift a little to the right to where Butaka was playing, so he wasn't available. It made it really difficult for Bartman to chase for everything played into that center. I think because they didn't have the ball as much as they would have, so players have this tendency to start chasing the ball now, losing their tactical positions. Ribeiro plays the ball in, the chase is on for uh, Shalou left far too close to Rossov. Zwane has a look up there in front of him. Police Yes, Mapate, instead of uh, playing that right full back when Kwali was, he'll push a little bit. He's naturally a right full back. He pushes forward. But this time, as a coach, when you know the opposition is going to put that much pressure you want, an attacking player that can also help when you don't have the ball. And Mapate does that very well because he's a natural full back. Masheko picks up the pass from Miami. Spurs hold their line. Sundowns to their eighth away victory of the season, the record for the most number of uh, away wins in a single campaign held by Kaiser Chiefs when they won the league title last 2015 under Stuart Baxter. Sundowns won uh, 10 on the road in their last campaign, but were unable to beat Chiefs' record. Maybe they could do it in this particular season. As Ribeiro. Dortley with that big strong left foot of his, looking to get Veli Bai going up against Budao. Battle here, Veli Bai is into the area, lays it back. There might be a chance here. In the shot, effort with the left foot, and what's the referee safe? Corner kick has been given after that uh, strike from Butsaka. Nice 
nice for a run from uh, Velibai. Nearly got the better from Dao, who's the best when it comes to chasing back, but he managed to squeeze through the pass. Now, the question is there. Was it a little pull there? Yeah. Which of us was in uh, picked up? Or was it enough uh, to demand a decision of a penalty call kind? Second corner for Spurs. Byrne takes it. Well, we're all needs to get this back into the danger zone. It's uh, a party out wide. Yeah, first touch was a little heavy. And from the linesman's gone up. That'll be a decision against uh, Kakana. And the free kick presents another opportunity for the home team yeah that first touch wasn't good enough but luckily that uh, Kekana blocks him completely from uh, running past him now you got a few players in the absence of Dakuda who normally would have, would have featured prominently in a set piece of this nature in attack but there's enough in that defensive line Kamagi takes it it's a disappointing kick they really need to do better on the uh, set pieces because they are few and far between for uh, Spurs Masheko. to Madao, they're queuing up, waiting for the ball inside. Neil Maema again, now Mokwena. Kulise, Madao. Walker Mokwena, wide from Kulise, but no one really pushing there from Spurs, so they get it into the penalty area. Maema. Lovely one, two shot, save from Bosov, spills, and it's back live again, and onto the net of the roof. That's a bit of a let off for Bosov, it might well have held on to it the first time. External factor, that's conditions of the pitch, there's nothing you can do about it. Goal, most goalkeepers will spill it up, and I can't help but uh, think about where. Our back at Orlando Stadium on Sunday, Mulunga and Ovaros spills the ball, allows Mabasa to uh, pickpocket it. Well, to his credit, Bosov seemed to be a little bit of a punch there as Shalolile was looking to pick up the rebound. Goal kick. It's up into the uh, Sandown's half. It's not uh, any windier tonight. It's Opposed to what we saw on Saturday in Stellenbosch and Sunday at the Cape Town Stadium. Zulu beat in Cape Town City. The corner flag is pretty still. Looking for a shower for Ronald Williams at the end of this one. Is he on holiday, if anything? He hasn't had to be forced to any save of notes. He hasn't had to dive. No come out and challenge anything in the air. It's a very quiet game for his standard. Now Burn. Trying to work his way into the uh, danger zone. Sandals has got a full haul of uh, points against teams who are in the bottom five at the moment. They've beaten Amazulu and Richards Bay uh, twice. They got those three points for the game where Swallows didn't pitch up and they've beaten Spurs previously. So 18 points out of 18 against teams in the lower reaches of the DSTV Premiership and that is to be expected from the side of Mamelodi Sundance quality. Ribeiro. As 
quite enough. Belly by Not the most promising attacker for Spurs tonight. Could be no square ball here, might be a chance. Some strong defending, it looked like uh, Miami might have been a man, or was it? Oh, Neil Miami. Throw is taken quickly. Little window of opportunity there for the home side. Now Liam Burns slips. It's Saka. Also from Rumede. This is Juane, the Bureau again. Sundowns now on the tack, looking for Shaloli there. A little touch. Well, he almost got there in the second attempt at Peter Shalolile. What you can trust him on is to, to be available when the ball is played. Maybe that, if you, that first touch, I think uh, it was... Well, uh, you've yeah. got an uh, excellent little stop in there. You know? And already as he makes an attempt, uh, he's already falling, Shalolile. Well, great work by Dudley, who I think didn't have a chance initially, but uh, got stuck in there, got a decent touch to take it away from Shalili. It's a very meager league tally goal toll for uh, Shalili this campaign. Ribeiro is the leading scorer. Admittedly, Ribeiro has taken over the uh, penalty duties, so uh, that's the reason perhaps that he is uh, much further ahead. Matusi Oba standing by to come on. Uh, we hear he'll be replacing Miami in the midfield. You'll be surprised that uh, last Tuesday against uh, Richard Spain. Now, what's the ref going to do here? Yellow card for Mudal. Belly by. Ooh, yes, he's very lucky, Mudal, to maybe not uh, head off for an early shower. He didn't make a strong contact, and it was with the uh, trailing foot, but nevertheless, a stunt showing like that is particularly dangerous. But maybe what saved him is that uh, he was making an attempt to get to the ball. A little bit high. Which is more like where the ball was. So. Oh, Billy by feeling it though. Mm. Dow will uh, be out for the next league, uh, or excuse me, for the uh, Netbank Cup match on Friday against Amatux. Listen, there's a lot of improvement uh, by Mudau's uh, play since getting into the Sundown side. Mudau used to be sure of ending himself uh, just what? Three suspension spaces through red cards and accumulation of yellows. So that has changed a great deal. Now, a decent set piece needed here by Spurs. Liam Byrne to take it. We are headed towards the hour mark. The delivery is a good, strong one. Away from Shalolile, who's uh, often back helping out in defence. Now they put the pressure on Mamadou the Sundowns. Dortley all the way back. Goalkeeper Bosov and Shalolile will chase him down too. Kifo Veli by behind Mudal. First change tonight from Mamelodi Sundowns. We've seen uh, one change already for Spurs. And it's not uh, Miami is going to change that. In fact, they had uh, initially decided Miami would depart, but now Police will go off. He's had an hour of football here. And 
Tusi Obas. Signed from Galaxy at the beginning of the season. Point I wanted to make earlier on is that he, um, he starts from Alois Sundance, but as a central defender, which was very impressive, that is Obas. And uh, maybe back to his uh, more usual position in the center of the midfield. Brilliant, though, in what I saw of his performance against Richards Bay. Well, in all competitions, he's only started four games, but uh, come on double that number of times as a sub. Be grateful for the uh, opportunity here. Robas gives away the free kick almost immediately. Down is Kutsaka. Sundowns again. That's a good challenge there from Kamagi. And then not so good challenge on Obas. Ten goal attempts in this game. Only four of them have been on target. It's a combined stat for both of these sides. Zwane. Sundowns over 500 passes now. Shaloline looks for an opening. Zwane. Mokwena. Zwane with a dummy. Shaloline. Well read by uh, Mutsaka. Goal kick it'll be. Once again, that low block is uh, coming through very well. Look at the players in that defensive line. Five plus two, three in front. Eight players defending. This is why Sundowns are finding it even harder to try and break it down. It seems a beautiful shot passing game as they were cutting down a space in that first half. But uh, unfortunately, they don't do it repeatedly enough uh, to break them down. Lively on the ball, to be fair. Quietly. Mate. It's well read by Dorothy, takes it away from Ribeiro, who's straight back at it. Spurs, of course, for five years before they played each other in uh, December. Spurs, the former Ajax, down in the NFD. Pretty comfortable three they win uh, in their last outing. No one in support. She gets the uh, ball back to Dortley. Now Burn. Moreau will look to uh, get uh, Pate going. Excellent first touch. Now Kupino waits in the middle. He has a chance for Kupino. And that almost heads into the back of the Sundowns net as an own goal off of Bala. Well, he must take some credit for the tackle too. But it's the first touch where that lets uh, Cupido down because he's ahead here yeah, when he receives. So he just needed to be able to control it forward, but that doesn't happen. He has to drag the ball from behind, which gave that second to Mbala 
to come across. It's actually a very good stop here by Mvalo, though for a second it did look as if it was going to head uh, goalward. Burn takes it. Strong header from Mvala. Still 25 minutes to go. Is there something uh, here for the team at the bottom of the table? Even a boy to count. <laughs> Could be there on the turn. No. Nope. It's away from him. Now a little chip from Butsaka. Too close to the goalkeeper. Ronald Williams is having a little bit of work to do here midway through the second half. What happens even the lead to that Spurs are able to throw in the defenders goals with it so by the time it gets to Williams it's like almost nothing <laughs> wonderful passing accuracy from uh, Mokwena We'll get a chance to move overseas. There's lots of talk uh, at the end of the African Cup of Nations. It's, well, the club's looking for him. I'm sure there's a hefty price tag on his head, though. Obas, Swane. The best situation is to have them come with the office and then sometimes can decide uh, which one is attractive for them. If and any. Wow, where this smoke now Ribeiro Burn. gets the challenge, gets the free kick. There's more, there's no smoke without fire, Jason. What do you know that uh, we should be knowing, William? Jason, you pay for these things, eh? <laughs> you don't just get. Information just like that. In Siswati, we say Ika Malomuntu in Como to tell the name of a person who's done something you pay a cow. Okay. Mm. Mamalodi Sundowns are thinking about making a triple substitution now to maybe get a bit more uh, energy into their attack here in the second half. That one goal separating the two sides. And uh, the player brought down. Free kick taken quickly. There they come now. Looking for Shalo Lile. Butsaka to clear. Burn forward. Looking for Kupido. Mapate ahead of him. Vala read it. Came across quickly. It's been excellent with the covering defense, eh? Because he reads the action, so he's not too far. Once he gets past the fullback, he's that close to provide the cover. Patrick Matthews in his hometown, uh, looking to come on. We see uh, Junior Mendieta had such a good spell at uh, Stellenbosch. And the other player is Tapelo Morena. And of course, the great goal he scored on Tuesday from Alan Sanders to give him that decision. I'm sure he'll come here on a high. Terrific played advantage, but is now given the free kick here to uh, the home size. Butsaka will hand the captain's armband over to Jared Morol, and uh, he will depart to be replaced for the remaining time here by the experienced Keegan Buchanan. Man with the great pass, medium and long, is excellent. Maybe finally, Cupido get a little bit of work from all the pass that comes from way deep. Okay, now, uh, 33 years old. 
remember his uh, birthday last week. Chases on yeah for Cupido. Cupido brought down. What's the referee say? Not interested. Oh, the home crowd and the home coach shake their head. What do you think, William? That's a penalty. We'll have to look, we'll have to, I'm sure we'll see a little bit more of it, but from the first glance of, for me, I can't see it any other way. Uh, Vala certainly gets a touch to the ball there. But now the training leg, doesn't it bring him down eventually? Because he gets the ball to the ball, but he doesn't go too far. And then the contact, slightest as it might have been, when you're on the run like that, you fall very easily. So he might have had a chance to continue with the run to get to the ball. We'll try and show you as many different angles as we can. You can make up your mind at home. Hmm. But uh, referee not swayed there. And now still only five goals conceded all season long. Now, gets the ball. The uh, right knee of, of uh, Cupido bounces up against that of uh, Mvala, which is what brings him down. I'm looking at you in the face, listen. <laughs> I'm you not convinced. Yeah, the other changes. <laughs> Rivero, Shalulile, and Miami often, as we mentioned, Matthews, uh, Mendieta, and Morena. The three M's onto the field. Uh, Peter Shalulile has still without a league goal since uh, playing against Spurs in December. Patrick Matthews, of course, uh, was a junior at uh, Ajax Cape Town. Up against his old side here today. Now, what do you think about these changes, William, and uh, what effect do you think they might have on uh, the Sundowns' performance? They... A bit of a variety for Malo the Sundowns. They don't normally play a high post into the area, but uh, with uh, Mendieta, he's the one that is able to challenge the ball. Now, the turn. Is that a yellow card for Kakana? Kupido might go in the book as well for a descent here. Yellow for Kakana. And the referee just telling Cupido to uh, calm down. He's probably saying, but you, Mr. Ref, you can't tell me to calm down after robbing. Uh, he gets a yellow card for a descent as Ashley Cupido. Probably for descent. Yeah, absolutely for descent. That's a uh, combination of the frustration of not getting that uh, penalty that he felt he deserved, plus uh, the tackle from Kakana. Now this effort straight at Williams. Oh, plenty of talking points here tonight. Driving forward was he brought down? That's uh, Kamagi who might land in the book as well. There's a yellow card coming for the Tanzanian. Yeah, excellent uh, buy for Spurs in the January transfer window. It was perhaps their trouble in the first half of the season. They didn't. Uh, enough in the way of fresher players for the new campaign. Cupido steals us away. Buchanan's pushing forward. Ball inside yet to Butsaka. Pulled back by uh, Mendieta, and he's going to get a yellow card. It's 
Set piece opportunity here with some 15 minutes to go. It's uh, Mapate. Think that is only one nil, which is why I'm giving them. Uh, Spurs actually the fight uh, that's still left in them to say you know what we can still make a game out of this we've done this well up to so far we just that need that little bit of luck but let's also create our own luck by putting uh, that enough uh, pressure to see if they can break down let me see the range yes it's way too far need somebody to hang it high up there see who gets it better Burn and Buchanan around the ball. Comes it to the right of him, and uh, you can see the players have gone forward Dortley, Umede, and Kupido. So, who's going to have a crack here? Keegan Buchanan, perhaps? Liam Byrne with the left foot. Byrne goes for goal, takes a deflection, should be a corner. Did not look to be on target, to be fair. Yeah, it was spinning away. It's a good period of pressure here from uh, Spurs. Under 15 minutes remaining. Head up is a good clearing one. Buchanan into the area, Marol, and then Cupido with a rush of blood to the head, misses. Mapate high in the air. Gumede back to uh, defend. There's perhaps a belief here they might get something out of this game, uh, Spurs. Good period to play for them. Bosso forward. of course between these two teams coming into uh, tonight's encounter it's going to be as things stand now extended area even further to 40 sometimes it go to 52 and spurs will stay on 12. unless of course there's something in the offing here williams sweeping That comes from experience. Other goalkeepers will have tried to maybe improve the play by finding a, a free player, but this is decision making can be so critical. Playable goalkeepers have been caught in trying to make the situation better, but just deliver the ball out, you can always come back, get the players back and defend. <laughs> move above 50 points they will get there in 20 games which is exactly what they did last season on their way to what was then a sixth successive league title 16th in total and i'm going to get seven successive league titles uh, barring a major disaster and 17 in total corner here of valley by but the only uh, one point of concern about Mamelo Sundowns is uh, yes, they are winning, Christian. Two draws, you said earlier, and um, but uh, look at the score lines. That for me, maybe. Sorry, William. There's the bottom half of the log, and you see the uh, task now. They've got only seven games remaining, Spurs. So the total number of points they can get is 33 if they win all their remaining matches. Richards Bay are five ahead of them. Richards Bay play against Spurs at the end of this month. That's going to be some game. Yeah, at the Atlan Stadium, by the way.
point was making. Yes, Sundowns are in the lead. 35 goals scored. Believe it or not, there is another team that has scored more goals than them, which doesn't normally happen. Clearing it up from Mkwali. And that's the only concern, Christian. They're not scoring, they're not winning comfortably. There are games that have won, obviously, but there are those that has been one nils and uh, very, very tight. This will be picked up here by uh, Rodman Williams. We can go back to that uh, question of uh, most goals in a season. You remember in the PSL used to have 18 teams. Yeah. So you played 34 games. It was uh, cut down in the uh, around about 20 years ago now to 16 teams. So uh, then down at the moment, but play continues. Now might be a chance for Billy Bay. Out comes Williams. The most uh, goals in a single season in Southern football, Williams, 73. Kaiser Chiefs in uh, 1999, Colin Mblanya, 21 goals that season, Tabangla BC, 13, Mark Batchelor, Siabonga Nomvete. Hmm. Just the names. Neil right. Tovey scored seven in that campaign. And in the 30-game season, one of the Sundowns, 52, uh, 56 goals, that was two campaigns ago. Yes, Mudal, back. Square ball across here, turn back, and Mendy Mendieta, good block from Gumede. Pate doing the right thing there. Sepo Gumede has had a huge impact defensively with Spurs tonight. He's not had too many opportunities since signing for the club. 32 year old. up for offside now uh, was this offside no no it's Tao over on the far side as our uh, second assistant there's one off, young Siabonga Mabena coming on. He's not had that much game time this season. There was a lot of uh, noise about him in the last campaign. Young 16-year-old uh, debutant. There's Veli Bay. See, see, there's no men of the match in this game. It's the foul from Obas. They get another set piece opportunity. Seven minutes to go here yeah, for Cape Town Spurs. They're, they're knocking on the door, little William. It's not a very loud knock, but it's there. <laughs> Which just helps to keep this game alive. And the scoreline from where it is makes a lot of sense that they keep pushing in the hope that they might just get the one. again the cannon will be the man to take the set piece comedian Obas uh, pulled out uh, of the classroom uh, to be scolded by the teacher there's Buchanan into the area is that going to be another corner so the pressure continues. Lazi. The roll's gone forward. Cupido's in there. Curling ball to the back post. Charge and it's the upright. Another ball in from Buchanan. 
So close there was Cupido sneaking in around the back. Left foot across again. Williams comes out, makes the save. So close Spurs to a dramatic equaliser here in the closing stages. Mapate now. Matthews comes away. Boss about to make the save. And it'll be a foul in favour of the goalkeeper who made a really strong foray out to collect the ball. How close was Ashley Cupido here? This was the effort with Matthews, well collected there by uh, Bosov. Yeah, clearly ahead of uh, the uh, striker is uh, the goalkeeper. It's the momentum that carries the attacking player, and he bounces obviously across the goalkeeper. Now let's look at this one here. Oh, he did no. ever so well, Cupido sneaking around the back, and the ball back in here. Williams made the save under pressure from Gumede and from Bird. Got to give these uh, young Spurs uh, side some credit. That uh, disputed penalty might well have uh, burst their balloon much earlier in this game, but they are showing some great mental fortitude in these final four minutes or so. Difference is uh, Pukele. His ability to find the pass into either the players running wide and into those areas, but also to put it behind the defensive line to get to Corpido. Now, Mendieta, Obas. Obas again, Mokwena. This is Nidal with Obas. Vala, Mendieta, cut out by Burn, only as far as Mudal. Morena, haven't seen much of him since he's come on. Two flyers down that right hand side for Mamadou Sundowns. Yeah, it's like pulling a player with the same ability in the same place. Mendieta, Mudal. Ball possession at the moment for Sundance. Are they going to maybe pull the trigger here? Look for an insurance goal in these closing stages. In the meantime, Kamagi looking to uh, break free. Cut out by Mokwena. Matthews. No way inside there. Away comes Mapate. Kupino's on the run here. Gets ahead of Mbala in the penalty area. There's the return ball. Good cover. But Tusi Obas came back to help. Did so effectively. Now Sundowns fans want their team forward. Mendieta. Mendieta still. Morena holds it up, Mokwena, Obas, oh, he's tempted to have a shot there and then uh, remember the coach's instructions, patience. Four minutes to be added on, belly by, almost intercepting there. Wide here. Benner, disappointed with himself.
Four minutes to be added on. We hear from down touchline side. Just 30 seconds of normal time remaining. Goes Marol. Byrne gets it back towards uh, the danger zone. Nadal. This is Mokwena. Cut out by Buchanan. Only as far as Matthews. Now Kamagi. This is Buchanan again. Out wide. Veli Bay. Into stoppage time we go. Big hoop forward from Dorty. With Obas throw into Spurs. We need a final burst of energy here, the home side. Well, it could have been a goal route tonight. Could have been. But, uh, credit to Spurs and a gutsy performance. And striking the woodwork in the second half. And the Sundowns with their quality. Always oh, really so difficult to take points off. Now looking to play through the middle, Buchanan for uh, Cupido. Kamagi. Mapate, and that comes off uh, Mascheco, who's playing a uh, left back. A bit more of ball position uh, from Mamelon Sundowns, and understandingly, understanding clearly, their point here is with the pressure that uh, Spears are putting. And with the likelihood that they might just get one right at the dead is it makes a lot of sense for Sundowns to try and keep or get a hold of the ball a bit more. I mean, it means just keeping their own half, but that means Spurs doesn't have any ball to play with. With the little time remaining, for me, they're on points. Others will think they have no business giving to that ball. There's a, enough ammunition here to try and play forward and make a game of six can get a security goal, which is a second. But uh, if you are Mukwena and understand the game at this level, that you know what, you got the goal, you got the point, you got the three points as you speak, and you're safe. All you need to, can, need to do is just try and protect it. Fans presumably were hoping for a little bit more in the way of action. Now another claim there from Spurs. Burn will drill it back in and uh, it'll go safely here to Ronald Williams. Over two minutes gone. Let's have a look here. Was this a legitimate call? seconds at Athlo Stadium. Our Sundowns is going to hold on to the ball and see our time here. Take themselves closer to yet another DSTV Premiership title. It's been a marvellous uh, dominant almost decade for uh, Sundowns in the DSTV Premiership. Long overtaken Kaiser Chiefs as the club with the most league title 16 to 13 is the tally now there's Williams Mashejo still some time to go yeah Mendieta scored in the last league game in the closing stages against Richards Bay up in the air from Matthews now Bosov needs to get this high Cupido needs to be on the run. That's not enough uh, movement ahead of him. Off the Shekho's head, throw in Spurs. Surely now, 10 seconds remaining. This has got to be the last opportunity of the game for the home team. Keegan Buchanan gets away from Mashejo. Still Buchanan into that penalty area. Now the follow-up. Mapate turns, and again they claim a handball, again the referee's not interested. Play continues here, Buchanan, cut out on the edge of the area. This might be a chance here. Burn chasing, 
Matthews chasing, final bit of play. The game is over and Mamalodi Sundowns move past the 50-point mark. They've won yet again in the DSTV Premiership. 20 games played this season, no losses, still on cue or on course for uh, a new landmark in South African professional football. Can they make it through their final 10 games of the season without losing a game and become the first side to finish a season without a league defeat? Your thoughts on the 90 minutes, William Shockway? The pressure you are raising up now, yes, uh, the, the league seems to be in the bag, but uh, now you're talking about them going throughout the, the league without a loss, but uh, that's what this game is all about. It's all about achieving higher things while you are at it. Yes, great performance by Spurs, it must be said. Yes, they considered a penalty that was questionable, but uh, Sundowns did what they needed to do at this stage to just grab themselves for that three points. Obviously, we still are going to hear from Mirandop what he feels about it, I'm sure. He'll be very unhappy. Uh, Roman Williams had a busier second half than he did uh, in the first. And that uh, effort from Cupido against the woodwork, really by a wonderful game from him, marred though by the fact that he gave away the penalty, which uh, separates these two sides. A contentious penalty, we must add. Was it in the area or was it out? That will be uh, discussed, I'm sure, widely over the next couple of days. So, confirmation here from the Athlone Stadium after 90 minutes on this uh, wet and rather chilly night it is the champions who emerge victorious a penalty from lucas rabiero up to 11 goals now this season and gives his team all three points spurs nil sundowns one well a really tight to hardly uh, fourth match between the Mamalodi Sundowns and Cape Town Spurs, the home team. Motobi Mvala returning to the team following injury is the player of the match for today. Motobi, no doubt a proud man. It was a tough game today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was a, a really tough game against a team that's fighting for their lives in the league. Um, they gave us a, 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 very, a very good game. So um, I'm impressed with the way we played as a team. We played very well. We knew that they were going to play the balls behind. behind. So uh, we needed to have a, a good rest defense. Although they, they got away in the second half with a couple of balls behind us, but um, we managed to keep clean sheet at the back. For you personally, you're returning. For you personally, you're returning to the team. How did you feel out there? Um, I felt good because um, um, I've been working very hard um, since, since I came back from injury. You know, at Sundowns, we have a, a, a very good team. At the back, we have the guys who are doing very, very well. So I've been waiting for my chance. So today, I got a chance and then um, I took it with both hands. How important is it when you play with, when you come back into the team and you play with Grant, you guys are playing together at AFCON, it just eases the rhythm a little bit, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, we, we understand each other very, very well, uh, but it doesn't matter who, 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 who I was, was going to play with today, whether it was Riva or Brian Onyango, it, we, we are going, we're still going to do the, 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 the great work at the back because um, this is how we play. Uh, we, we train together, but um, I've been doing well with Grant and um, I'm just happy with the way the team performs. It's not about uh, individually. The one thing that's really beautiful is wherever you guys are playing these days, the fans are out there singing for you guys, cheering you on. How special is that for you guys as Mamarodi Sundowns? Um, uh, it really pushes, it, it, it pushes us, us, you know, um, because um, um, when you have uh, your, your face behind you every time, when, especially when our wingers have the ball and then they push them, you know, uh, it really gives us um, some energy. Uh, it really, it, it really um, pushes us. And, you know, I just hope one day when you play in, um, in, in Kev, when, when you play Kev, we can have such big numbers. It will, I think it will, it will really, really help us. But I think I will get there. And then this I dedicated to, to our supporters. Well done. Thank you very much. Well, Matobi Mbala there, really happy with his own performance. And uh, I tell you, it was a game where Cape Town Spurs, they, they tried their best. They left it all on the park. The crowd was behind them. Coach Esmerendorp. Disappointed today, no doubt, coach, and that penalty just before half-time would have been a massive blow. Yeah, I, I'm quite sure that the foul was outside 
Well, I don't think uh, that you have to give a penalty, uh, but I have to watch it again. I, I just, I just don't, uh, don't want to waste my energy anymore. I made a decision in halftime today. Let's just leave it. We have no influence. We cannot do. I said it before the game already. Our experience, the last uh, two matches, we had our possibility uh, to score. In the first half, uh, I think Ashley had a good possibility. He should have controlled second touch. Second half, we had the possibilities, uh, Cospa and the end. I think uh, over 90 minutes, uh, implementing a new setup, totally new. We have trained it only for two days with a different. We played three defense line before. We had a very, very narrow uh, uh, other understanding today, but I think it works very well, despite, of course, a certain dominance in the first half. Uh, you can't deny that that's normal if you play sundowns you are you have to give them this uh, moments but i think a uh, good reaction during the second half and yeah good it's uh, definitely something where we can um yeah move on and a game like this today is not about uh, to reduce the distance to position 15 not a game against sundowns we have to be focused concentrated put the same shift in to progress uh, leave out the individual mistakes. I think everybody knows before the penalty the came, uh, it could have been done different. Uh, of course, we will have a look at it and let's see. Uh, I think seven matches to go. Of course, five points uh, to the position we are targeting, uh, but there's still a chance. No doubt you'll take some positives from this game. Your team went toe-to-toe -to -toe and really gave it, gave their all out there and the fans will be proud of it. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, uh, is uh, absolutely um, deserved uh, that the team has uh, to get this acknowledgement uh, that they did well. Uh, they produced uh, not only a kick and rush, they produced good combinations. Uh, the chances we had were not uh, by accident. It was definitely out of a certain pattern. Uh, but uh, good, in the end, uh, you have to score and <laughs> you have to, to kick it in. Uh, but I think uh, despite your 1-0 down, you, you have to chase a game and then to keep uh, the shape and to keep uh, so solid in uh, defensive work. I think uh, that's something uh, also very important for me. Coach, hard luck today and good luck for the next game. OK, thank you. Well, Coach, uh, is Middendorp there, disappointed with the, some of the decisions and disappointed, of course, with the outcome. But the man right next to me, he'll be more than happy with the, the, the three points in the bag. Because also, importantly, it's another record, or they tied the record. 50 points, 20 games once again. Sure. I don't know that. Congratulations to the club. Uh, good first half. I was very happy with the first half. And I don't like the second half at all, at all, at all. Um, and a bit of it is my fault. I don't have enough controllers on the pitch. Uh, not enough passes, not enough controllers. So I've got to look at my subs also. Uh, but OK, good. I'm happy the players are able to to, to grind it out. We, we play all the tough games. Uh, sometimes I feel sorry for the players, you know. I wish, I wish someone can play open against us and we can score seven also. But we've, we've got uh, low blocks, uh, reinforced defences, no space. And we're struggling a little bit for confidence, I think, also. So. Um, yeah, but congratulations, three points in the bag. And I'm happy the supporters are happy. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. We have to see through this uh, last part of the season. And, and just grind away results like, like we are doing, you know. This reminds me of a, of the time I was the assistant coach at Sundowns. And um, but we have to go. We have to demand more. We have to push ourselves. And and once we get our confidence back, we'll be a better team for sure. You did say before the game that it was going to be a tough game. They were going to be stubborn, and it was exactly that. Yeah, they're tough. They were coached uh, very fast on the counter attack, uh, especially with uh, the two with Cupido, Batman. And then they've got uh, possibilities to get tense. Uh, Velebai is very aggressive. And he was waiting for Sailor to go. And the moment Sailor goes, uh, and then Pizzo occupies the half space, he runs behind them. And then uh, they've got Cupido occupying Grant and pinning him in the center. And then they've got a lot of space. And they were a big threat on the transition. And we didn't have enough passes. We didn't have enough control. And then we also didn't threaten on, on the counter attack. So, so you know when you don't have control, but you also don't have the threat of the transition, it's a little bit difficult. Um, and then you, with too many runners, Obas is a runner, Mendieta is a runner, Tapelo is a runner, uh, Tesh is a runner, there's not enough control. And then Mabena comes in also 
uh, lacks a little bit the experience, but he gains the experience as he goes. So as I said, I, I think the second half is also my fault a lot because we didn't play with a lot of control, but it's because we don't have enough controllers on the pitch and, and that's my fault big time. Of course, three points in the bag, well done today. Thank you so much, thank you. Congratulations to the team. Yeah, really good shift to put in by Mamelo de Sundowns in terms of getting the points on the board. Of course, registering 50 plus points once again this season in record time. 20 games, a record they match from last season. It's 1 0 here at the Athlone Stadium, and it's Mamelo de Sundowns who walks away with all three points. Yeah, while well, the majority of the teams have what, seven, eight matches to go to the end of the season, Mamelodi Sundown still with 10 to go in a fantastic buffer. But a reminder of the weekend's clashes uh, for you, Deco, here, which one stands out? I mean, there's only one really that stands out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think a lot of powers in terms of the goal scored. Um, what a performance. It was, it was a really, really great performance for them, especially to bounce back after a defeat. And I think also one of the biggest results, I guess, is Chippa versus Kaiser Chiefs, yes. you know, back-to-back -back victories. And I think it was a, one of the biggest talking points over the weekend. But nonetheless, you know, Super Sport also grinding those results, knowing, I mean, TS Galaxy, rather, yes. being over a team Super that is Sport, very, yeah. very, very difficult as well to play against. Yeah, it, it gets tougher and tougher now, doesn't it? On Sunday, it was also two that managed to get uh, maximum points against the Cape Town City. And then another thrilling clash between Royal AM and Bolugwane City. Yeah, I think uh, with, with, with the Cape Town City clash for me is, you know, them trying to be in the chasing pack, but it, it's proving to be difficult, yeah. you know, for, for Cape Town City. So, uh, you, you know, you look at teams like Stellenbosch, of course, the clash between Stellenbosch. Um, uh, I think they wanted to keep chase, uh, you know, with sundowns, but also a draw for them. It's not gonna, you know, do them any good in terms of trying to close that gap. So yeah, those are some of the, you know, uh, maybe disappointing results for the for the chasers. Agreed. And Mamelodi Sundowns now what four more victories and they wrap it up. Let's take a look at what's happening at the bottom. Really, and you look at the performance today of Cape Town Spurs, they're mm. and it's just devoid of luck because yeah. they're fighting so hard and playing well. Yeah, they are. And, and, and those situations happen, especially when you're in the bottom, they're fighting for your life. You know, you play so well, but you're unable to win the game. And yeah. it's small margins. Um, and, and, and I'm sure that today they're very, very disappointed, uh, especially with how they put up the fight today against Mamisana, which was expected, though. But then the question is, then, then how then do you keep that consistency in terms yeah. of fighting? And I'm sure the, the, the word in dressing room, we were like, we all left with seven or eight fighters that we need to play, for, play, play. And then we need to have the same energy that we use against Mamelodi Sundowns and be able to grind results. Because if they play like this in any opposition, they stand a chance of winning the game. They really do. Yeah, they stand a, stand a chance of winning, stand a chance of surviving. While well, Mamelodi Sundowns are targeting a fifth straight victory over Cape Town Spurs, they certainly did that. But here's the difference with the victory tonight, is that previously with the last four, they've been by a margin of two goals or more. Not tonight. And uh, we will break it down and show you just just how resilient Cape Town Spurs was after the break. <laughs> 